Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Daman umadda somal milk stadka juktan dafaha alamka ama itkasta o danay neso barashada afko hoyo. So first of all, I wanted to say you um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu all of you and anyone who's interesting to learn Somali language. So I wanted to share with you a book that I published recently and the, the name and the title of the book as you see here is Bar Ama Baro which means teach or learn Somali language 100. So this book is based on starting from the beginning up to the up to the um, to the highest level for example this book starts like alphabetical letters and so it goes up to the grammatic Somali grammar Somali literature so that means it's from the starting point to the up to the end until you understand for the construction of Somali language uh, Somali grammar I mean so so this book when I was preparing just I made very simple and very reliable for everyone who's going to learn Somali language whether they are Somali native speakers so when I'm talking learning I'm not talking for speaking learning language is not speaking learning language is just understanding the rules and the regulation of the language, the grammar, construction of the language, so that's called learning language. But if, if you speak the language, but you cannot write or read, still you need to learn that language. So my point is, anyone who's interested to learn and understand Somali language, this book will be the best book that you can decide or you can just have the book. So this is the first page, the face or the cover of the book. As you see, and these are the logo that I just decided to put for the cover of the page. Also, this is the second page, and you can see here Bilaha Heliada Yamalmaha, which means the months, seasons, and the days in Somali language. And actually, everyone now that knows, everyone knows that we use. the months in English language and the days in Arabic language. So my point is just to spread the word and to encourage Somali people to use their months and days in daily use instead of using the foreign months and foreign days. So here we have Jilal and Jilal this season will be under three months Todop, Hayes, Dra and here we have Gu, Sermawedo and Dakois, Guyere and here we have Haga, Haga Ade, Haga Madobe, Karan, Deir, Dambarsame, Der Halalot, Dalalo. So these are the 12 months in Somali language. Todop, Hayes, Dira, Sermawedo, and the Khois, Guyare, Haga Adde, Haga Madobe, Karan, Dambarsame, Der Halalot, Dalalo. These are the seven days of the week in Somali language. So you can say Soruge, Kobin, Lamin, 
Lamatok Kodar Hakisa Hakisa Bile. In this page, I want to share with you the the glossary of the book, Amatu Sahabuga. So, chapter one, chapter one covers Somali alphabetic, and that will give you a chance to understand and learn the component of Somali alphabetic or Somali letters. Or uh, like we say, the consonant and the vowels. So in Somali language, the consonants and the vowels are separated. They are not mixed like English language. We say 26 letters, which including with the vowels and the consonants. But in Somali language, we have 21 consonant consonants, and also there are 10 vowels five short vowels and five long vowels. And as we know, the long vowels and the short vowels play an important role for Somali language. So anyone who is going to learn Somali language, especially for non-speakers, they need to emphasize and understand more about the long vowel and short vowel. Because if you make sh the vowel short and if you make long, that means it makes two words. For example, if I have give you bal, bal, which is B-A-L, and bal, B-A-A-L. So these two words, the only difference is one A, bal, bal, so that means short vowel, a long vowel, so that makes one vowel is missing, one a is missing. So this a plays an important role. It makes two different words. So when you say bal, it has its own meaning, and when you say bal, it has another meaning. So that's kind of the second chapter is about pronouncing. Somali alphabetic letters and words correctly. Chapter 3, you will learn a vocabulary or a word, such as the names of animals and things and everything that you can use every day. So in this section, chapter 3, you have a picture and a word. So it will be easy to understand. You read the word, and you see the picture and you apply, that's it. In chapter 4 and 5 and 6, we'll cover or cover these three chapters for starting with a short dialogue up to going to a complete conversation. So these dialogue and conversations are based on our daily use like apologizing, requesting, shopping, and so on. In chapter 7, you will read Somali traditional stories, like we say, um, Fox and Lion, um, Dean, Dean Yadawa, like Fox and Turtles, okay, so Libah Yadawa, Something like that. So it's that kind of the this chapter is based on Somali traditional stories, and that would be good. So in chapter eight, you will learn about something based on Somali culture, like artifacts. Like what are the culture, closing culture, Somali closing culture, and also you will learn about uh, more about the food culture, okay, for Somali people, okay, so, so this chapter in general is based on for Somali culture. Chapter 9, you will learn about the numbers and numericals, numbers, okay, one, first, two, second, ko, kobat, and that would be called ko and kowale in Somali language, ko, kobat, laba, laba, sadah, sadahat, 
and so on. Chapter 10 is based on the basic understanding of Somali grammar, like the judge of tense, like present continuous, present symbol, symbol present, symbol past, and future. One Bahaya, one Baha, one Bahai, one Bihid Dona. So these are the basic, and also you will learn about nouns and pronouns and adjectives, something like that. It's the basic grammar for Somali language. Chapter 11 and 12 be basis for vocabulary words in a Somali literature, like. Uh, idioms or figuratives as well as personification and so on. So this, the last 11 and 12, the last chapter, chapter is 11 and 12 are based on Somali literature for basically. So as you see this book is the combination from the starting up to the highest literature. So I hope if you decide it, or if you make this book your partnership and you are interested to learn Somali language, hopefully you will be successful in six months and hopefully that's what I'm expecting. If you put your effort, hopefully you will learn in six months of Somali language. So the last and not the least, if you are interested to get or have a cab for this book, please just email me. This is my email, fana58 at gmail.com, and just okay, and I will let you know the price or the cost of the book. And hopefully, it will be the cost will be very, very reasonable. Again, I wanted to say I wanted to say you thank you so much for your time and have a nice day. Thank you. Again, this is Ustad Fanah.